Hello everybody, once again, this is Justin with OWI Robotics and this is the troubleshoot for the OWI 8800 or the Kabuto Mushi robot. Um, just to start things off, we're going to pick the easiest things to fix, so not to make you guys feel kind of dumb, but make sure your batteries are new batteries that you just bought, uh, make sure they haven't expired, um, and make sure that they're inserted the right, the right way. Uh, the uh, the Kabuto Mushi is an infrared uh, robot, so the controller is actually communicating to the robot itself via infrared signals, and it actually has seven or eight channels that you can uh, you can program them to. So make sure again that the number on the controller, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, etc., is the same as the number on your Kabuto Mushi. Because this is the number. This is actually syncing them up via infrared. So you want those numbers to be exactly the same, because that's the channels that both of them are going to be communicating on. Um, other than that, keeping keeping on going down the simple list. Make sure that the motor speed tabs in the back, where the two motor, motors are on the wheel, that they're fully pushed and locked into the positions or the speeds that you want them to go. Um, other than that, if the wheels aren't turning or the motors aren't spinning, open up the body, uh, check that the pinion gears on the each motor is actually engaging with the crown gear, so make sure that those teeth are actually catching each other so that it'll, they'll be spinning and it'll actually be propelling the, the robot. Uh, sometimes these two back motors aren't plugged in, not plugged in, but aren't screwed in tight enough and so sometimes they get loose and the teeth on each of these gears doesn't really catch. Um, if only one motor is working, uh, what you can do is plug the other motor into the slot that it was working in and see if that motor will work there. Uh, if not, then you can uh, you can kind of, by process of elimination, figure out that that was the motor itself that maybe it was a malfunction or one of the wires were disconnected and so you have a problem with the motor. Uh, in that case, you can actually in the back of your manual, fill out a warranty form and list the parts that you need in the comment section and then fax or email that form to us and uh, we would be able to send you those parts uh, as soon as we receive that from you. Keep in mind that this is if it's within 30 days of the original purchase. Um, if not, you can buy <clears throat> any new parts you need from our actual uh, parts order form. This is on our website um, under parts and extras it's going to be labeled as a parts order form and you could just type in whatever parts you need and you could uh, pay for it like that online and we'll ship it directly to you. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, you can send them to info at owirobot.com. Uh, so again, that's I-N-F-O at owirobot.com. And I uh, hope this helps you guys.